guys and welcome back to Book of Grace. Today I'm going to start reading the book you recommended to me in my latest video, my October TBR video. So if you're wondering which book won, this The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This is a book that narrates the story of a magical circus in which a magical competition to death is happening. Uh, Celia and Mark are the two protagonists from what I've read on the synopsis. I can't wait to get into it. I have this on my shelves about, about five years, I think. So I'm pretty glad this is one of the winners. So this book won with four votes, all on YouTube. Although there were some people that said that The Night Circus wasn't for them and I'm totally on board for that. I love that there are two opinions because then the pressure is too much for me to like this book and if I don't like it I will feel bad. I don't know if that happens to you too. Anyway, the second book that almost won but not quite is Crescent City by Sarah J Maas which got three votes all on YouTube. This was a surprise. This is a very popular book and I was really certain that it would fare better. But it's glad to see that nothing is set on stone and that the popular books are not always as popular as we really think or they're just overly publicized and we just think they are that popular. Anyway, the third place was a tie between Truth Witch and Nevernight with one vote each. Truth Witch was recommended on YouTube while Nevernight was recommended on Twitter. But the big surprise was that the last book didn't get any votes. Our daughter didn't fare as well, didn't fare well at all. So I'm going to start The Night Circus later today. I can't wait to see what is going to happen in this book, what the, this competition between those the lovers Celia and Marco is going to look like and how everything is going to unfold. Thank you so much for your vote. Hey guys, welcome to the first update of The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. So I started this uh, last night. I have made only a little bit of progress. I'm on page uh, 53 of 490, so I have a long way to go. So far it seems like a lyrical, magical read, but also it's kind of weird. So far we're reading the story of the two characters, Celia and Marco, from their perspectives, but also across the years and it's kind of nice because we see how they grew up under those uh, peculiar characters that have been raising them but it doesn't help me really get attached and feel connected to the story and the characters i'm a little bit confused right now because i think they have met each other but it's not really clear so far, but since we do know uh, what the story is about, we assume that they have met. But I have to make a little more progress before I can say for sure if I like it or not. So far so good though, I guess it's too early to tell. And I think the good part hasn't even begun yet. So more on the next update. Quick update because I have made much progress to the Night Circus. I'm about 23% of the way in. I have read uh, 116 pages and I'm in a point where I can say that I'm swept away by this book, by the character, by my excitement over seeing what's going to happen next. During the first 70 pages I had absolutely no idea what was going on, but after that the plot started becoming clearer. At first we were speeding through uh, Celia and Marco's uh, development, let's say. Uh, we were following them growing up and living their lives, only a few bits at the time though. And then we started witnessing the beginnings of the idea behind the night circus, how it started, by whom, and suddenly it became clear that in my previous update I was wrong. Celia and Mark had not met yet. They actually met during the last 10 or 20 pages, but something strange is going on, so I'm not sure about anything at this point. We were also introduced to another character that lives 10 years later and who actually visits the circus when he's of age 
so so many things are happening if i didn't have some chores around the house to do i would keep reading because i actually started being invested in the story and now i want to see how it's going to proceed the writing was a bit weird to get to uh, at first i will admit that at first it seems kind of unusual and it takes some time to actually uh, get used to it but now i'm in trust actually so i will see you in the next update hopefully having read some more hey guys so today I haven't had a lot of time to actually sit down and read uh the night circus but towards the end of the day i managed to actually make some progress and now i'm about to read the last 20 pages um i believe the story has concluded uh for the most part and it was very unexpected it was certainly more than i anticipated from this book it was a magical journey so far and i can't wait to dive into the last 20 pages let's see how the story will conclude it's a while later i finished the last 20 pages of this book uh all in all it was a great experience i'm so glad you chose this for me because otherwise i don't think i would have picked it up myself i think it's going to be a four star read for me it was magical it was totally different than what i've read lately in quite some time actually maybe 4.5 stars i don't know i haven't had time to actually sit down and think about it i will only say that in the final uh three pages i actually got goosebumps which saying something tomorrow i'm going to do a more cohesive review because right now i'm too sleepy for that but yeah in all a great experience it was my 700 read i finished it in just two days almost one day and a half very timely to halloween very magical and i think i'm going to also give the starless sea bar and morgan stern a chance uh, as soon as I have more time because right now I'm prioritizing my Friday night challenge. See you tomorrow with more of my thoughts and an actual review of the book. Hey guys and welcome to the end of this reading vlog. I have now officially read your choice of my 700 read and it is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. As you know, it took me two days of non-continuous reading to finish it. Uh, I couldn't read it continuously because uh, I had some other responsibilities I had to take care of. But whenever I picked this up, I was unable to put it down. In fact, I read so many pages the first day. And I've also just posted my review on my book blog. I gave this book four stars because it was a magical read. It was impossible to put it down once you actually got into reading it. Magic can be taught. Celia and Mark are the main protagonists, but a lot of other people uh, have guest appearances and more concrete appearances as well uh, they play a huge uh, part on this story and how it unfolds there are many significant characters they are all lovable even the more troublesome ones the, the ones that you wouldn't normally root for but in this novel they are all written so well anyway the story starts uh, from the very beginning when Celia and Marco were only six to eight years old and they were chosen by some powerful magicians in order to be taught their magic and eventually compete against each other in a magical competition to death at first i will admit this book was a bit slow because uh, we were going through the years uh, getting to know celia and marco and their tutors and the magic they performed thankfully uh, the chapters were not very long they were actually very very short which made you think of them as scenes like a movie it was in a similar way and the scenes made you feel like there was much more action basically in my opinion the good stuff started happening when the circus started blossoming as an idea Celia was recruited Marco played a different role but basically that's when the magic started happening at first Marco only knew who Celia was but Celia had no idea that didn't change anything in their relationship and they're falling in love after they found out who it's other was they were perfectly matched by their tutors in order to be equals in the competition so that's why they were drawn to each other basically in this story they were very precious for me both of them but 
I liked Celia a little more because Marco was a little cheeky. There were also some chapters that they were glimpses to the future and until the very end of the book you had no idea why that was happening and it seemed a bit confusing at times because you jumped to a completely different character and you didn't know what role that character played. Thankfully at the end uh, you get to realize why everything happened the way it happened and the way it was narrated with a few glimpses into the future. I believe so that you can uh, get attached to the character and not just meet him when that date arrived, which is almost in the end of the book. Very interesting read. I love the magic system. The writing was spectacular, spectacular. I can get why some people say that this book uh, could be a classic in the future. It has this feeling of a classical book, of a lyrical and magical uh, story. What really threw me off though were some lengthy descriptions which thankfully happened mostly in the beginning of the book and I would just skip them if I felt like they were too long and I was afraid that it would take my focus out of the main story because usually if a description is too long I start getting bored and then I start getting uh, disappointed with the book so I didn't want that to happen with my 700 read but don't worry these were probably large paragraphs and not whole pages of lengthy descriptions at least not that I remember I wouldn't skip whole pages, but yeah. And a bonus, the last three pages of the book. When every piece fell together, I actually got goosebumps because of the realization and how beautifully everything fell into place and the puzzle was complete and you go to the end of that story knowing how magical it was it surpassed my expectations thank you so much for choosing this for me it was an amazing experience i totally recommend it especially if you like some more magical and lyrical uh, writing styles or a magical read for halloween why not it was the perfect halloween read because everything important happened on halloween uh, even in different dates. Read it during Halloween. This concludes my first ever reading vlog on my channel. However, I have filmed a few more reading vlogs and I'm going to post them after this one. So keep an eye out for that. Let me know in the comments below if you have read The Night Circus, which book you are currently reading. And thank you so much for watching. See you in another video. Bye!